Okay, questions? Well, yeah, like, uh, just, you know, emotionally, I guess, what was it like for you to have to suspend one of your senior leaders? Well, obviously, it's very difficult, uh, but, you know, it's a situation that we're in, and that's about all that I can comment right now as it's going through the legal process. Just, just ask the court real quick, I guess, when and how did you find out about the investigation? I can't comment any further. Which is with your team in practice? Uh, yeah, I thought we came out. We had very good energy today, very physical practice, uh, very demanding practice. Actually cut it short because of the physicality of it. And our players understand what's at stake. They know, you know, what they're playing for uh, these last couple games. But uh, I liked it. Uh, we need to obviously correct some things tomorrow and moving forward. And uh, Monday was a business-like approach, very consistent like they've been all year. Physically on the field, how do you compensate for that absence? Well, uh, you just don't replace his production. And so just everyone around him, at, around our football team has to step up, do their job, not do any more than what's required of them, and uh, they'll step up. I'm not commenting any further. I guess no comment any further means no comment any further. Yeah, I do. Uh, somebody's losing their uh, interviews. <laughs> well, never mind. <laughs> now we got to redo the whole thing over again. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you know, Dylan's worked exceptionally hard, and now is his opportunity to go take advantage of it. And we've asked a lot of them, you know, playing multiple positions. Uh, but he's an individual who works hard, and I know he's looking forward to the opportunity. And we're going to need him to step up. What's your end with Brian being out in the first half of the situation? What, what about your communication on that side of the ball? Yeah. How concerning is that? Well, we're going to need to grow up in a hurry. And, and TK has done a good job when he came in, when, when Brian had to leave the game and exit the game. Uh, TK did a very good job of coming in. And TK is a very smart individual. Uh, he puts his, his work in. He does his due diligence. So I don't think communication will be a problem. Uh, and, uh, you know, I expect TK to really step up and perform well. We will rely on Jalen Reeves Maven a little bit more. Obviously, he has experience at the second level of our defense, so we'll rely on him a little bit more. What about at the cornerback position, which he needs to step up there? At corner? Yeah. Well, the individual who continues to improve week in and week out is Emmanuel Mosley, and you guys see that his repetitions continue to increase, and uh, he's playing with a lot of confidence. Now, we're going to be challenged out in the perimeter this week. Uh, very good receiving core, very fast, very quick, can go play the ball in the air, but Emmanuel's progressing very well right now for us. I would say closer to doubtful right now. Uh, we do anticipate knowing more later in the week, but right now I'd list him more as doubtful. Because Derek Barnett's been impressive since camp. It seems to be getting better as the year goes on. And to be named lineman of the week for, as a freshman in this, in this league, and just kind of put that in perspective. For what he's doing. Well, it's been very impressive. And uh, just his growth and his maturity over a course of time, it's a body of work over the entire season. And he brings it every day. He came out, and we thought he had one of his better practices that he's had all year. And he has an energy level. He has a toughness about himself uh, and a quiet confidence. And, you know, we always talk about flipping the switch when you step on the football field, and he's been able to do that. Very, very intense. Uh, again, consistent each and every day with his approach, his demeanor, the way he plays the game. Uh, very, very competitive young man, and uh, very excited about the last few games with him in the future at that position with him leading that position. What do you think's caused the surge in the I think it's a combination of a lot of little things. Uh, sometimes there's coverage sacks where 
Our secondary has done a very, very good job. Sometimes it's our linebackers. And we always talk about effort sacks. And, you know, very rarely in this game do you just flat out beat your opponent. You know, a lot of times there's what we call second and third effort sacks or opportunity sacks. You know, a defensive front sack where maybe Kurt does his job on the front side, forces the quarterback to flush the pocket, and that's where Derek gets a sack and vice versa. So there's a lot of things that go into it, uh, but also they're playing with a lot of confidence right now. Well, in the short term, it's going to still be, you know, some nickel situations, some dime situations, some third down situations. We'll rely heavily on Jakob Johnson and Cortez McDowell and Kenny Bynum as well. Jakob being a guy that didn't grow up playing football in the States, have you seen his football IQ grow and kind of evolve since he got here in January? Work in progress. Uh, puts in the extra time of film study. Uh, we knew that it would be a developmental process, but what we saw on video is basically what we see every day. Very, very athletic, uh, very tough, very physical, and uh, is working on his instincts, working on just the overall knowledge of the game and all the, the checks and the multitude of checks. And, you know, in this conference, there's so much uh, differences and offenses that you have to prepare for week in and week out and the different dynamics, the different skill sets of players that you have to prepare for and he's done a very good job of that. Does his skill set fit what you want out of a linebacker four two five linebacker? Yes. Three, yep. Coach, it's been almost a month now since that loss at Ole Miss. I mean it seems like things are more upbeat now. Can talk a little about that. It's how the, the program is going Well, you know, we always talked about staying the course and there's no secret about it. If you look at our schedule, uh, it was a challenge right from the get-go. You look at the success that Utah State is having. You look at Arkansas State, I believe most of our opponents will be have an opportunity to participate in a bowl game this year. So we knew that going forward, and we, know, we knew with a young football team, we would have to stay the course and not let any clutter or distraction get in our way. And the goal hasn't changed. Our goal is to be the best football team that we can possibly be. But we have good competitive character in our program. Uh, our seniors, our veteran players uh, have really held this football team together. And then the addition of this freshman class, they're different. Their mindset's different. Their mentality's different. And we talk, we've talked about a consistency approach uh, each and every day, the power of one. And they have really lived that each and every day. What you kind of said after the. Yeah. Well, very proud of Jordan Williams, and you know we always talk about seniors. You either play your best football or your worst football. There's never any in between, and that's the life of a senior. And Jordan Williams has definitely played his best football. We've asked so much of him from adding the additional weight, from changing his position to the defensive end, to the defensive tackle spot, and he's handled it exceptionally well and very proud of him in terms of he's really grown into a team leader. And our players respect him and uh, just proud of all of his accomplishments this year. And he's been a great resource for Derek Barnett, Dwayne Hendricks, a lot of these individuals in terms of mentoring them each and every day. But how different is, is Josh a year later, Josh Dobbs, when he made his first career start yeah. last year in Missouri? How different is he in prep and off the field, on the field, just completely as a football player? Different in a lot of regards, but also some similarities. His preparation has not changed. He understands what it is to prepare. Uh, but I think the confidence, the live game opportunities that were afforded to him last year, he's really benefited from that. Uh, just the overall knowledge of being in the offensive system now for over a year has benefited him as well. Uh, the uh, trust that he's developed with our receivers uh, so again, he's continued to grow and develop, and Josh will continue to grow and develop. He'll continue to get better week in and week out with the volume of repetitions, but confidence is a very powerful thing, and he has a lot of confidence, as do our players have confidence in him as well. Thanks, guys. Okay, thank you.